Thanks, Charles, and welcome, everybody. In today's video, we'll be looking at exporting to Hecras as well as the visual effects to the new Stewa and Stormwater manholes. Let's go ahead and have a look at the Hecras. In this uh, visual, you'll see here I've got a river running along the roots here. I will turn on some height shading just to show you how it looks with the height shading switched on. Always remember to auto scale first before pressing OK. So here you can see there's definitely um, a river that's running along this route and we'll create a channel using the roads mode. Now you don't need a roads license to do this. You just need to use the roads mode. You will need a design center license to run all the tools for the export to Hecras function. Let's have a look at exporting it to Hecras. Let's have a look at exporting this to Hecras. We'll start off with this section of the river in this location over here. Um, I will go to roads mode. Let's go through to roads mode and we'll go to file option settings. Please make sure that the interactive road expert is switched off for this exercise. We don't want it to go and model a road in this location. So we'll press OK. And then we'll go back to file and select road file. Now I've got a file here, but you can start a new road if you wish. I'll go to this location here and I'll go to stormwater channel. And under layers, I'm going to call this road one stormwater channel. Now you, you can have multiple channels if you wish. I'm going to press OK. And I'm going to just turn off the height shading for now. I'm quite clear where the channel is. But I'd like to find the invert of this channel. Whether you're using the invert of the channel as your flood routing or if you already know where your momentum line is going to be, that's up to you to decide. In this exercise, I'm going to use the invert of the channel. So I'll go to CAD mode and I'll go to draw polyline, lightweight polyline. And I'll just trace this area with more time on your side. You're more than welcome to give it a um, more accurate invert. And never use the close, that will close the thing. Always use the finish. Okay, we can now go to roads mode and we're going to go to alignment. I'd like to populate an alignment, align, tracing the CAD. So I'll use the regression extract alignments. I'll only need the horizontal alignments. And I'll say from CAD entities, I'll select the CAD entity. Yes, I'd like the highlighted one. I'll then go to horizontal coordinates and this is where you choose your cross sections and I say 10 every 10 meters is fine guess I'd like to overwrite the existing we now need to extract so we can go to alignment horizontal extract the the natural ground and store it into road layer one so you see here I've got the natural ground I'm storing to load, load road layer number one which is my road stormwater channel. And then I'm going to go 100 meters on the right and 100 meters on the left. That's completely up to you to how far the riverbanks reach. You can see some of them crisscrossed in, in these bend points. I wouldn't spend too much time twisting these lines. Uh, I, if uh, the river is on this bankment flowing up to this point and on this embankment it's flowing up to this point, it only f serves to confirm that anyway. We can now go and export that to Hecra. So if we in roads mode, we go to file export Hecra cross sections. You can see I can store it. I'm taking the layer stormwater channel. And if you've got any questions with regards to this dialog, you can always press F1. And we've got the write-up to the dialog. We've also got the export to Hecras. You'll see that we export the stream network, the reach, and the cross-sections. 
I'll press OK and it'll want me to save it. So in my in my Hecros folder, I'm going to call this export from civil designer. And now in Hecros, I can go and say that I would like to save a new project. We can go to my demo folder. And we can call this a cross project. Now we need to bring our cross sections through. So we'll click on the cross sections button. We'll then say import GIS format. We can select on this Hecros file and we can choose metric. We can then press next and import. So you can see the river route has come in. It is flipped around. That's because Hecros doesn't recognize the southern hemisphere. Now what we can do is look at the cross sections and you'll see that all the cross sections have come through as long as as well as the river reach. Okay, and then just remember to save that as your geodata. So we'll just save as.